Putting myself second means that I pretty much just drop everything and like concentrate on God as much as I can. If something in my life is distracting me, I try and uh, just leave it alone and get back to God as soon as possible. Putting myself second, like to me, is I guess in a way of putting myself first because when when you put other people first, like ahead of yourself, it actually makes you feel better than as if you were to put yourself first. To me, it means putting others before myself, like not doing selfish things. I feel it is important to put others before yourself because that means that you're putting God before yourself. God tells us, like he says, if you don't love other people, if you can't love him. So I think that's true. If you go around saying you love God and you hate your neighbor, that's you don't actually love God. When you do something nice for someone and you put yourself second, you get like a warm feeling in your heart and you feel like you really changed someone's life. Putting yourself second builds other people up and it makes you feel good. A time when I put myself second. A time when I put somebody else first. Um, one really, one that really sticks out was a quite recent one. I was, I really felt that I was supposed to, I don't know, I guess help somebody, but I didn't really have an idea or anything, like anywhere to go with that. It just kind of was dead in the water. I was, I was praying one time. Um, I was really asking God, like what, what He wanted me to do, and I, I mean, just like in my current position in life, um, and. As, as I was like praying and asking God like what to do, I, I really felt like I was supposed to do a fundraiser. Um, and me not knowing what to do with the fundraiser, um, like I have nothing to raise money for and of course I have nothing to sell or nothing I could think of that I could do to really raise money. I was sitting in English class and just like you doing my, doing my work and I heard Miss Reed talking to one of the students in our class and uh, she brought up, uh, she told us a story about a woman who had four children and the husband was out of work. She has four kids, um, two of which are, or have disabilities and she has to homeschool them so she can't go out and work. And they were about to lose their house and uh, their, their heating was about to be shut off so I was like, oh, okay, this is this is this is a good idea, and you know, I got that tingling in my spine feeling. Like, I think I'm pretty sure this is what this is what I've been feeling for the past couple of days. So I was walking to my next class, and I met up with Gordon, and it was kind of like we both talked at the same time. Like, I was like, I, I have a great idea of somebody we could do a fundraiser for. And he said, I really feel we should be doing a fundraiser for somebody. So then me and Josh were trying to figure out what to do. Um, we, we didn't quite know what, we just, since we had, uh, I mean, we felt like I was telling us to do a fundraiser, next thing for us was to figure out what to do, but um, all we could really do is just pray about it at that point. We, we both, we were really all psyched for that idea. and. Uh, a couple days went by and I was I was hanging out at Gordon's house and I think we were playing video games in his basement and uh, he gets a text from Ryan Dagan saying that they have that he has a bunch of whoopie pies that we can sell. Do you guys have like an idea for a fundraiser? I was like, wow, this is this is awesome. Like, there's no way we could like there's no way that wasn't from God. We were like we were going crazy because this is like really weird because we hadn't told anybody about our idea for a fundraiser and so there was no other way other than from God that that could have possibly happened. So we got to church early the next day and um, like set up the whoopie pies and everything. Um, just, like we didn't sell them, we just did donation based. So they could take as many as they want and then give however they felt. And by the end of the church service we had raised $372. That was really cool because that was that was the exact amount, like almost to the dollar that she needed to keep her house and to turn the heat back on for that month. Like when we were able to give her that money and like once she really sat down and talked to us, like t 
telling us like how much that really helped her and stuff. That, that was really cool. And it was just sitting down and talking with that woman after we presented the check was just one of the most amazing feelings that I've ever felt. And uh, that'll stick with me for the rest of my life. My name is Tyler Seltzfus. My name is Trevor Heinrich. My name is Gordon Heinrich. I'm Josh. My name is Tasha Seltzfus, and I. And I. And I. And I. And I am second. I'm second. I'm second. I'm second. I'm second. I'm second. I'm second.